What is up guys, Teeth here with another video and today we are going to be doing a access video uh, on my main bro teeth. I uh, just finished our double XP weekend, unfortunately I was a little slack on Sunday but I was just a little burnt out. I got around 55 KK experience total on bro teeth so that was like 8-9 levels or something. So I was pretty happy overall but I was hoping to get 365 but that, whatever. Not the end of the world, we still made some solid progress. But today we are going to do Feaster of Souls access. I guess this spawn is really good, and also there's some bosses there I have to do eventually, the Pale Worm. Uh, it's good for duo or team hunting, I guess. Uh, probably should have done it a while ago, but I guess the access is really easy, so I'm just going to bring it up on uh, Wikipedia and kind of walk through it myself. Uh, not the best for a tutorial video, but at least that way I can show you whether it's that easy or not. Or, whether I was just lied to, but my friends have said, like, you need to get it super easy and a good spawn. So, got it up. Uh, right away, the first two missions is all I'm going to do today. This is just the access. So this is to have access to the hunting grounds and the bosses. You're going to need uh, to go to, where do we go? Find the NPC Para Norbert north of Jackanduff Jakundar, Desert, uh, which is honestly just fucking in between thighs of Donor. Yeah or Thais, Fenor, and Cass, whatever. So, you can either A, run there, or B, if you have access to the, well, I don't know what to call the portal, the green portal, earth portal, in the Astral Shapers temple, then you can be much quicker access. So we're gonna use that option, because fuck running all the way there, even though it'll probably only take two or three minutes. Uh, this actually, you're gonna get the death knell from him, but I already have, have one, so it doesn't matter. Uh, you're going to need a gray flower and skull ahead of time as well for the second part. Uh, but other than that, I guess that's all you need. And you're not really going to have to face anything too tricky. Uh, but just head to the desert or head through this portal and head north. The NPC is kind of in the middle of the desert by the looks of it. Uh, right here, if I'm mistaken. Not mistaken. Words are not my strong point. Zoom in a bit. Fuck, I hate that feature. And I'll probably talk for the whole thing, honestly. Um... I guess I really only have to go to three locations and then make a little potion that I drink and boom, we then have access. I'm trying to keep my keyboard a little away from my mic because it's picked up more than I would have liked from a cardioid, cardioid setting, but such is life. So I think he's just over here. What's his name? His name is Para Norbert. Right here, I think. What? Is this in the right place? Pair Norbert. Oh, oops. Ah, he's up here. Northwest. Oh, he's on my map. Should have known. God bless downloaded maps. So, we are going to say... Hi. Mission. Usually does a trick. Portal. Yes. Help. What do I say? <laughs> Quest? Access? Have I already shared this quest and didn't know it? What the fuck? Yo. Now, if I didn't read ahead too fast, I would have seen that I literally, after I said hi, he said, can I count on you? I say yes to that. Got a death knell. So now, we have to go three to three locations in Tibia, ring this bell, and that is this part of the quest done. Uh, location one we can go to is in Carlin, uh, the graveyard, the ghost lands west of Carlin, and then Dare Cathedral, which is also... Is it all in Carlin, right? Dare Cathedral. Oh, no, southwest, right, right. We can go to Dare Cathedral right now. What was I thinking of? I don't fucking know. I know nothing. Dark Cathedral, I've not been here in easily five to ten years on Tibia. Run, run, run. And unfortunately, map click may not do us any favors. But all you got to do is go to these locations, ring the death knell, uh, return to him, and he will give you the next part of the quest, which is creating a potion, which we think we, I think we can do all in Yalhar Magician's Tower, or Magic Tower, whatever you want to call it. So once we do that, uh, we're all set. For access, I think I think we have access. 
But I said I was going to talk to the whole time. Might have lied because there's going to be some filler area here and I don't want to just drag on. So I might pause or no, I'll just edit the video. So see you once I get to Dark Cathedral. We are in Carlin uh, for second and third, actually, uh, locations. I forgot. I didn't talk during the last location, so I'll, I sped it up a bit. But to get there, obviously, Dark Cathedral, head down to minus one, head southwest to minus two, immediately head east, and you saw the room I stopped in. There's kind of like a white floor as well as like kind of a little altar, and you ring it, you'll see the ring uh, pop up in the center of the screen. You know you're in the right spot. So now I do believe it's in the Carlin graveyard, and we... Ring? Does it do it everywhere? Nah, it does it different everywhere. Okay, so now, last one. Ghostlands. I'll see you when I get there. See you when I get there. That's a weird phrase. Weird phrase. Don't know why I said it, but I'll talk to you in a second. All right, we are at our last location in the Ghostlands. You go down to the southwest, head to the west end of this room, and boom, that's our third ring. So I think we should have them all. I'm going to head back to the NPC and see what he says. Alright guys, we are back. Let's see what he says. Oh, hi. Fear not, go ahead, enter the portal. Enter. Okay, so now I guess... Afterlife? So now I think we just have to go make the potion and then we'll be able to go we'll be able to uh, enter so to make the potion this is where the skull and the bone meal will come handy and you're gonna head to did i say yalahar i meant edron uh magician's tower i think when i was talking about it earlier i said yalahar but you need to use the skull on a wooden grinder which creates bone meal the gray flower on an al alchemist apparatus which creates uh gray flower extract put them together and you make a vial with a skull cork once you drink it you're able to access the, the uh you should be able to access the portal though. We're gonna try it out and we'll talk to you in a sec.
All right, we are in the Edron Magic Tower. I think the first one is north here. I really don't know yet. So this is the first one. So we use a skull on it. Boom. So we've got the bone meal. And now the alchemist one, I think, is at the top of the middle tower. Not there. That's wrong. Fine dust. I think it's up here, right? I don't know. I keep walking in the wrong direction. On this floor here. Uh... Alchemist apparatus. Yep. Now use the gray flower on it. So use the gray flower. That didn't work. Aha. So we got gray flower extract and the bone meal. Use them together. Use the bone meal on it, sorry. And we got the skull cork. Or vial of the skull cork. We drank it. Uh, you drink the potion, suddenly you feel as if someone is walking over your grave. All right. So I'm going to head back to the NPC and see if I have access to the portal that is apparently beside him because I can't see because I'm not in the afterlife or some shit. But we'll be right back. It's time to quit while we are ahead. Don't think like that. I will love you in the sleep. If you don't live, believe. Don't you be like that. I will love you forever. If you don't live, believe in me. Yeah. You could be with anyone. I could be with anyone. Yeah, you with me. All right, we are just about back. Uh, Kroom just asked if I want to try a few pools. So, little bonus, we're actually going to try and kill some things in the spawn. I think I used my Summer Blade here. You're going to want a lot of life drain protection. So, garlic necklaces and bone fiddle, as well as there's another, maybe a ring or a different, different necklace. But for now, we're going to go with these. Oh, necklace of the deep, maybe? What do I say now? Did it work? Enter. Where's the portal? Am I wrong? Oh, it's invisible. Oh, neat. Look at that, we got access. So once Kum gets here, we'll kill a few. So there you go, guys. That is Feast Your Souls access. Uh, pretty straightforward, but I mean, if you're like me, sometimes you just don't want to figure it out on Wiki, and you don't believe your friends when they tell you it's super easy and only takes 15 minutes, but... Here's living proof. So I'm going to try a few. Uh, nothing crazy. Probably leave in some music and just to show you guys the entrance of the spawn. Hopefully this was helpful. If you liked it, leave a thumbs up. If not, no worries. If there's any other quests you'd like to see, let me know. I'll also have be adding, you know, more parts of the uh, Future Souls quest line later on once I get more comfortable with the spawn. But that's it for now, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you later. Peace.